Uh, good morning. It's uh, almost 7 o'clock Saturday morning, and uh, my kids and dogs are still sleeping. My cat is actually still watching me through the window. Uh, but I figured, hey, it's time to do some retinoscopy. So I'm going to put on my sunglasses because, again, not because I'm cool, because they're prescription sunglasses. And, uh, yeah, let's do some retinoscopy. Let's do, uh, let's just keep it in plus cell. Today, why don't we work with, uh, we'll just pick a random patient, but let's work with trial lenses today instead of using the instrument. And, uh, boy, so when I look at this reflex, it is, um, I really don't see much of anything, do you? I think... Uh, maybe I just get a hint of against motion and it's super dim, so I can't even see it. So let's just throw some minus in there. Okay, now I see something. And okay, so let's get even more minus in there. Let's take this three out. Let's put a five in there. Okay, now we're seeing something. I just want to see how the reflex 90 degrees away it compares. Okay, so here I see more against motion. I see a thinner reflex. Here, I see uh, a thicker reflex. So this is going to require less minus to neutralize. This is going to require more minus to neutralize. So I could just arbitrarily pick one of these if I wanted to, but uh, since I'm, I said I was going to do a plus cylinder, uh, I think maybe what I should do is just neutralize the more minus meridian first. So let's get this five out of here. I'm going to throw a six in there. Yeah, this person's fairly nearsighted. And trying to spin this axis. Ooh, that looks really neutral there at 32 degrees. Okay, let's add another quarter just to see what happens. Okay, so I definitely see a little bit more motion there. Here I see really none. If I put, put a plus a quarter, I think the motion increased there too. So I like this. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to remember this minus 6, minus 6, minus 6, minus 6. Okay, so I'm going to remember minus 6. And then 32 degrees. Let's spin this around to about 120 or so, 122. So it's at 32. Yeah, it's really neutral there. Let's see, 158. That definitely looks like a primary meridian right there, doesn't it? 163. So let's go back 90 degrees away. You know, I'm going to add a little bit more minus till I get this more neutral here. Minus one. Okay. Yeah, I think that 32 degrees just happened to neutralize at minus six, but yeah. So that's minus seven. So minus seven, minus seven. I'm going to turn this around. Okay. So yeah, at one. 54 ish. Uh, see a lot of width motion. And again, since I'm thinking from a plus cylinder uh, state of mind here, I want to see width motion because I want to use plus lenses to neutralize this. So minus seven, let's just add plus one. I can refine this axis a little bit more. Let's make it a plus two. That looks, looks pretty good. 250. Let's make this a plus 3. Okay, that looks like a little bit against motion. So let's go back to that 275. Ooh, yeah, that's neutral. That's neutral. Okay, so what did I do here? I had minus 7 to start with in one meridian. Then I switched the second meridian, and I had to add another 275 to neutralize it. So uh, my final result would be minus 7, but I'm working at a 150 working distance. So this would be minus 8, 
50. It gets minus 7 plus minus 150 is 850. So no wonder I can see a reflex right off the bat. This person is really nearsighted, and their reflex will be very dim. And uh, the cell, let's see, the difference between the two meridians was plus 275. The axis I found was 159. And uh, cross my fingers and hope. 50. Oh, I've typed in 375. Okay. I meant to type in 275. Yeah, wow. I'm pleased with that. That is awesome. <laughs> I even got the axis within one degree, which is not easy to do, to be honest with you. So don't feel bad if you don't always get that close. Um, but uh, yeah, boy, nailed that one. Very pleased with that. So... Fantastic. Well, thanks again for watching. Hope you learned something.